So now in this video, we're going to look at a uh, Darlington pair transistor that I have. So it's the uh, KSP13. The uh, BU means it's some kind of variant, but uh, the data sheet I found didn't cover what uh, that BU means. So it must have been from a different manufacturer. I don't know. But in any case, it's the KSP13. You can look up the uh, data sheet for it. So in any case, it is wired exactly the same as this transistor. This is a 2N2222A. So are these. The A is a variant. It's, uh, I think it can handle uh, a little more voltage from a collector to emitter than a 2N2222. But in any case, they're 2N2222s. Let's keep it simple. So, I have protecting the uh, LEDs a 180 ohm resistor and it's also protecting the transistors from too much current this one's not uh, powered yet and uh, it says 2k on there but it's crossed out it's actually 2 mega ohms 2 million ohm resistors are at the base of these transistors and so of course transistors amplify current so the uh, 2 million ohm resistors they're massively reducing the uh, current to uh, the base of the transistors and we're getting a multiple of that but that LED you can see is barely lit up that's because it is a 2N2222 if I lower the light though these uh, LEDs actually do at really low light settings uh, show up so that's kinda nice but uh, when we get it brighter you can definitely see that one's a whole lot brighter now over here so I have two transistors here, we're going to apply current to the base of one, it's going to amplify current to uh, the base of this one. It will allow a lot more current, and that's really what a Darlington pair transistor is, except for all of the uh, chemistry and circuitry and stuff is inside of the component, instead of having to make it with uh, two individual components. And down here, I just have an LED with a 2 million ohm, 2 mega ohm resistor directly uh, in series with it. And of course, it looks like uh, literally no light is coming out of it at all. If there is, it's hardly any. So now let's take a current measurement. And it's going to be very little current, of course. We are at the lowest setting I have for this meter, unfortunately. So 2 milliamps or less. Make sure the red probe is in the uh, milliamp uh, slot. And the uh, power supply is on. I opened up the circuits. I took out the LEDs. So no current will flow from collector to emitter. And uh, we're going to get all our current through the resistor to the base of the transistor. And it will come out the emitter. We will ground down here. So first... Let's take a look at the resistor by itself and this will be our highest current reading because we have no voltage drop right now. And remember when uh, we had the LED we would have had the LED voltage drop for this now. But there you can see this is about uh, two and a half or so between two and three millionths of an amp. So that makes sense. We're using five volts. This is a 2 million ohm resistor, and uh, we're really down by the uh, limits. But uh, looks like it can't decide whether it's 2 millionths or 3 millionths. So now let's go to the 2N2222. So we have the resistor there, but we'll also have 0.6 volt drop from the transistor. So we're going to be closer to about uh, this is a 5 volt power supply, 5 volts at the rail there. We're going to be closer to about uh, 4.4 volts or so but there you can see it's uh just looks a little less it's a little more spending time at the two than the three but uh, pretty much same amount of current as that one now we'll go to this one this one should be a bit lower because there's two transistors within it we'll get two voltage drops we'll look at that uh, coming up and there you can see it's a uh, point zero one milliamps now let's uh, do a diode test. So we'll turn this to diode and actually look at the uh, voltage drop and make sure 
or not uh, yep it's diode I think it's diode and continuity I don't think you have to set anything I think uh, yeah that's not continuity but that is that beat meant there's hardly any resistance there so in any case let's uh, get to first let's do the 2N2222 a familiar transistor try not short anything out and there you can see it's about the 0 0.6 0 0.7 volts that I mentioned that's a normal base to emitter voltage drop so you'll lose that voltage from the uh, power supply there the LED will block that amount and then start letting current flow through freely after that and uh, this one's about twice as high as we can see there if we go over to uh, this circuit we should be able to measure that directly let's do uh, yeah, two there. there you can see uh, 13.71 volts and the current coming through here is enough to uh, turn that transistor on let's go right there but with just the single transistor it's a 0.7 volts so now I returned the LEDs to the circuit let's turn the uh, power on and the uh, emitters though are still open so there's no path to uh, ground that's why the LEDs aren't lit up otherwise the uh, circuits are complete we just have to finish the circuit through the meter from the emitter and I have the meter set to measure 20 milliamps or less because I already measured these and uh, it's all 20 milliamps or less now let's uh, first let's do the uh, regular transistor so with uh, 2 million ohms of resistance to the base that uh, little bit of current that we got oops we're gonna do this one first aren't we we're gonna get about half of a milliamp of current according to the meter so now let's go to the Darlington pair transistor which is getting the same amount of current to the base other than the slightly more or actually the double the voltage drop of base to emitter but otherwise it's close to about the same amount of current to the base but now you can see the collector is allowing a lot more current to uh, go through the transistor than that one so we're at 12.11 uh, milliamps and we should be pretty close with uh, this setup I need to shift it over though I'm powering these two rails right now I want to power these two rails and uh, there we go and I gotta make sure I come down there that's the ground complete the circuit and you can see it's uh, slightly more for uh, whatever reason than that one maybe we're getting a little bit more gain there but in uh, any case it's still really close what was that one like 13 and then this one's about 17 milliamps so now that's the end of the video I just want to mention that I got these uh, Darlington pair transistors from uh, this semiconductor kit from uh, Joe Knows Electronics so it's got a 13 transistors and 20 diode types and some other stuff but uh, in any case that's where I got it and I just did a Google search of uh, KSP 13 it does list in here that it's a Darlington pair transistor and I found that uh, basically all the properties of it from what I've noticed are the same as the 2N2222 except for the amount of gain so it looks like at about uh, 10 milliamps of current from collector to emitter it's going to have about 5,000 gain so about 5,000 times the current going from collector to emitter as what you provide from the uh, base to emitter and then at 100 milliamps it looks like it's closer to a 10,000 gain and uh, so in any case other than that looks like it can handle about the same amount of current as the 2N2222 and uh, voltages and stuff it looks pretty close but of course always look up the data sheet yourself and uh, verify those numbers so KSP 13 BU seems to just be a variant I don't know the data sheet I found didn't mention BU on there so I don't know what the variation will be but generally it's an improvement over the uh, the base component so whatever uh, you can do with the KSP 13 you can probably do with the KSP 13 BU and it may work out even better but uh, in any case I just quickly put this together hope you still enjoyed it I'll try to come up with a uh, better video on this topic 
in the future, but uh, it seems pretty straightforward. It's just like a regular transistor, but higher gain.